Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out the Ludicrous Speed IPA from Jay Wakefield Brewing. Brewed can by Jay Wakefield in Miami, Florida. Dade, Florida, they're from. Because mm -hmm. uh, they have a hashtag that says Made in Dade. JayWakefieldBrewing.com. Uh, it's got some, some government warnings on it. A cool independent craft beer association sticker. 6.5% IPA. And, of course, this excellent can art of some sort of spaceship that says we break for nobody. Ludicrous speed. Fantastic. So they're also, uh, Jay Wakefield is also out of the same county that Tripping Animals is out of too, because they're also a Miami, oh, Florida-based yeah, uh, brewery. Ooh. I haven't had a lot of their beers. I've only had a few, but every one that I have had is pretty good. And then of course Equilibrium's in upstate New York, so, um, and all their beers, great and fantastic. Yeah, uh, of the Tripping Animals that we have had, we really liked them. Mm -hmm. But this isn't about tripping animals, this is about Jay Wakefield today. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever had any Jay Wakefield beers before. So this will be new. We've had Equilibrium a whole ton, but uh, I'm wondering how much input Equilibrium had on this. Yeah. Because like... it's brewed and canned by Jay Wakefield, so I don't know. You can never really be sure, unless you are sure. In general, like we drink a lot of collaboration beers, and I'm always wondering, like, where where yeah. is a collaboration? Like, like where where does one brewery kind stop of... and the other begin? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes, uh, like in our area, I know like some breweries have just done the whole thing and basically put the other brewery's name on it. Like but they why? basically well because they want control over the brew process, I guess. I don't know. I mean, that's but then just... where's the collaboration? That the name, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. So this beer pour is almost like a passion fruity color. Very uh, dense looking, yeah. definitely hazy. I see little carb carb bubbles popping up ever so slightly there. Ooh. Smells delicious. Smells like fruits. Yeah, that's, like that's really dense. This is like a solid combination of hops, like Citra, Galaxy, and Mosaic are like tried and true. Standard can't go issue. Wrong. Standard issue. There's it's probably a reason good. people brew with those hops all yeah. the time. I mean, it's just, you know, you know it's going to work pretty good. They're all they're all complementary to each other, so you know it's going to work pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, we just see the, that certain combination in IPAs a whole, whole lot. So this is bound to be something right up our alley. It's bound to be something up everybody's alley that likes IPAs, honestly. All right, well, let's get into it. Cheers. Cheers. It drinks much, much lighter than I expected. It's crushable. This is great. See, oh. I just I just wish like all beers were just like killer flavor. Just like know. this. Yeah, just like this. Six and a half percent. There's no reason. Dense. There's no reason that breweries everywhere can't do this. Mm -hmm. This this combination, six and a half percent, low ABV, lowish, you know, dense, fruity backbone. Yeah, just really bold, big, fruity flavors uh, with a nice kind of low medium carbonation on this one. I really dig this. It's smooth and creamy. Yeah. I love how this is Star Wars themed. There's two of them, right? Yeah, the other one's a sour. Well, we got that one. What's that one called? I forget. I think it's called Punch It Chewy. Yes, Punch It Chewy. <laughs> so there's Punch It Chewy and Ludicrous Speed, which probably we should have done Punch It Chewy first and then done Ludicrous Speed, but like whatever, it, yeah. eh, order is stupid. Um, but yeah, I love this can art. It's like just, it's so simplistic. This isn't even a very like high res image of, of like a spaceship or has like, it doesn't really have like a ton of neon or anything crazy happening. It's just this, we break for nobody 
Um, and I'm sure somebody in the comments will, will correct me or something like that because I'm wrong or whatever. But the way I understand it is, yeah, you can go faster than light. And a lot of ships do, but they're limited to the paths they can take. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I don't know how like the gateways work. Like, can you just exit exit like hyperspace anytime you want? Like like an exit, uh, on, <laughs> like an off ramp on a, on a highway? Or is it like you have to hit a certain exit and then loop back around somehow at slower than light speed, slower than like super light speed. Yeah, I've always wondered that. Hyperspeed, I guess is what they call it. I don't know. Like I just assumed it would look like this. They scene. need to really explain this more, honestly. Like yeah, I shouldn't I... have to read books to fucking figure this out. All right guys, well, if you liked what you saw, please hit that subscribe button and until next time, stay crafty. Cheers. Cheers.